Welcome back to Practice Purpose. This is box number four and five of the case, sealed case of Double Masters Collector Boosters that we got. Um, that came from Card Kingdom. Let's see if we can have some better luck this time around since, I don't know, I mean, you know, the last, the last, the first three boxes of the case that we opened were not all that great. I, you know, they, they had some good cards. Uh, they weren't completely trash, but um, this just it was nothing like the first boxes we opened on the channel. If you go back to some of those previous videos, um, but we shall see. Hopefully, we don't have a bad case. Hopefully, we can make up for it with some of these boxes that we've got here. Starting off with a mana leak, going into a lightning helix here in the uncommon slot. Never bad to open lightning helixes. Mist fire adept, unearth, Orzov basilica. Inquisition of Kozilek foil. Blood Artist. That's a good one to open for the uncommon foil slot. We'll take Blood Artists. Sidisi Brood Tyrant. Foil. Pack foil. Kozilek Butcher of Truth. There we go. Starting off good and strong with our Mythic. Non-foil, but still got some really good value to it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Woo! As foretold, hitting in another mythic winner, winner, chicken dinner, etched foil. I do foresee this going up. The etched foils are exclusive to collector booster boxes. And since the etched foiling has been done so well this time around, I think Wizards has actually, I guess, perfected the etched foiling process. I do think that these will be very good gainers long term as people pick them up and, and realize how, how good the etched foiling is. Woo! Boy, what a pack! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That is a that is a gorgeous smothering tithe. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is, that is, uh, oh, look at all that gold and that coins, that greed. Ugh. Uh, it bothers me a little bit that it's out of Wooburg order. I realize they did it to, according to the back of the magic card as far as here. But, um, yeah, wow. This is one of the ones I, I was hoping to open. We did it. We opened the Smothering Tide Foil. That is that is sitting really pretty. I think these are... Uh, they dropped for a bit, and then they recovered pretty well. They might drop again, but right now this sucker, I think, is sitting at like 80 bucks plus, maybe even 90 or something. That, that is gorgeous. Woo! All right. Man. That started off real strong. Two Mythics and into a Smothering Tide. Woo! Can we beat that? Can we have more bangers in this box i don't know let's see let's find out we got to get to there's a normal blood braid off terminate thought scour seeker of the way eternal witness always a good one to open not my favorite preferred art for eternal witness but it's okay and we have a verena 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 oh, lich queen whatever this was a commander card that came out of one of the commander decks so Going into a Hardened Scales. And a Boar Tusk Liege. So we're getting more of those Lieges in the Etched Foil. I always like the red-green ones. They, they, they pop really well. They shine really well. And a Panharmonicon. First time I'm seeing Panharmonicon. And a Panharmonicon. Uh, first time I'm seeing Panharmonicon in Foil. Sorry if my video feed cut out there for a second. So if you hear double, that's why. Um, really, really pretty. I like that Panharmonicon art. It's got some value to it. It's not, I don't think it's going to be an incredibly expensive card, but it's definitely got some value to it. Move Kozilek right up there, just front and center. I like the art on that Kozilek. It's one of the ones I'd like to open in the, uh, textured foil is Kozilek. Mr. Cozy. Gonna get cozy with Kozilek. There's a Blood Artist foil. Pack foil. Breakthrough. We're going to get right through the uncommons here because that's not what we're here for. Seeker of the Way, Burning Tree Emissary, Dragon Lord Dramoka Pack Foil. This is like, I think, the third or fourth Dragon Lord Dramoka I've opened. Um, not of this version, but uh, in, in, in total. This one seems to like to make an appearance a lot. I wish it was like Imperial Seal wanting to make an appearance all the time, but that's okay. Chaos Warp, that's some crazy art. Phil Foglio art there for you. He, he does some crazy... Wicked crazy cool art. Teferi's Protection Etched Foil. Now that's not a bad one to open an etched foil. I'll take those. Teferi's Protection. And that's really pretty too. That white etched foiling almost looks colorless, but very, very pretty. 
and a supreme verdict in the pack or i mean the borderless foil with your little kitty flying cat demon or cat dragon not demon although they should make a flying cat demon i want to see a demon cat because cats can be demons right let's admit it they're, they're they could be pesky little demon creatures i'm not a cat owner um but i have lived with cats before and i know plenty of people that are cat owners and i'm not knocking cats cats are cute cats are funny but they can also get into a lot of trouble pad the exile always great to open pad the exiles even if it has been overprinted i'll take pad the exile foils all right rakdos carnarium mole drifter going into a gifts ungiven using the art from that um what do you call them? The Spellbook J series, I think. Going into and a woo boy winner winner chicken dinner winner winner chicken dinner winner winner chicken dinner. I know it's not foil, but it's an imperial seal nonetheless. And uh, I these are sitting real nice and pretty. I I, I think even the non foils are sitting at eighty to one hundred still. And it, I I don't even know what the price is right now. I mean I can look it up. I got a keyboard here in front of me. Let's let's take a look. Uh, Imperial Seal Borderless. What are we at? We are at... Oh, boy, a lot more than I thought. Wow, that is a big hit. We're at 150 bucks. That sucker is $155. Oh, man. All right, well, there you go. There's most of the box price right there. Uh, that's pretty good. Followed by Teneb the Harvester in Etched Foil. I'm going to take a moment to sleeve him after this last card. Let's see what this last card is. Colagon's Command. So, really nice art on the Colagon's Command. Shines very well, too. In the light. Look at that lightning right out of his mouth. Woo! Boy. Oh, oh, cool. Liliana the Last Hope Token. I think I'll sleeve that, too, because uh, I haven't... I think this is the first time I've seen one of the Planeswalker tokens in foil. So, I'm glad they, I'm glad they made this. And this must be one of the more rare tokens um since that's the first time out of i don't know how many boxes uh but quite a few boxes that we've opened that i've seen that oh that was a nice little last pack magic there right so what do we get out of that three mythics uh kozilek imperial seal as foretold did we get another one we did we got hold on let me take a look Okay, Smothering Tithe wasn't a mythic, but it was up there in value. So this box definitely paid for itself between Smothering Tithe, Kozilek, and Imperial Seal, for sure. So it was four mythics. Yeah, as for Toll, Dragon Lord Jamoka, Imperial Seal, and Kozilek. So not not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve as for Toll real quick before we get on to the next box. Um, yeah, not a bad opening. Etched Foil to Fairy's Protection. So I, I like that. Some good rares. <clears throat> box number was this five five of the case of eight that we got box number five out of eight we got three more left after this uh which we'll do for another video oh. all right you know i i gotta say the quality too of the foils um has gotten better they've done a really great job at i haven't really seen any foils coming damaged out of these out of double masters boxes for collector boxes um whereas before sometimes you'd have issues with damaged foils a lot of scratch lines um you know or vertical or horizontal cut lines or just lines in general from like the packaging and i feel like the quality control is a lot better this time around for this which it should be Ooh, thrumming stone foil that's a good one it should be for a set like this i mean you know spending premium money for something like double masters a lot of money per booster box the quality of what we're opening should should be there. Privileged position. Seeing that again. Ooh, Caridor Ghost Chieftain in the etched foil. So I think this is going to have probably like 15, 20 bucks. And another damnation. So this is the second damnation. Um, second damnation out of this case, actually, that we've seen. So some duplication on the borderless foil slot there. Um... But I do like it. I do like it. They're 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 a bit down in value right now. Those damnations are only sitting around twenty bucks, I think. But um, I think that's too low. I think I'm definitely a buyer at that price. I don't think don't want to damage the cards. But they don't want to come out of the pack there. 
Um, we'll double check. Let me see if it's gone up in value. I'm just going to real quick type in damnation. Look at the borderless foil <clears throat> and see what price we come up with. There's a flicker. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty good pack foil pack right there. Flicker Wiss and uh, Eternal Witness. That's pretty good. Uh, foil, borderless, damnation. Okay, they have come up a bit. They're at 30 bucks now. Uh, so, uh, and again, I, I, I think it's more than 30. I think it's a, I don't know. I think it's like a, to me, it feels like a $50 foil at least, you know, later on down the line. But all, as, as we all know, when new sets come out, a lot of stuff drops in price and then um, they go back up over time. So we'll see what rebounds and what doesn't. Una's Prowler. And I'm running low on batteries, so I'm going to get through this uh, as quick as I can here. Surgical Extraction. First time seeing this. Absolutely amazing art. This honestly is the best art for Surgical Extraction. Absolutely fantastic. Thomas Baxa uh, knocked it out of the park on this one. Just freaking gorgeous. What? <laughs> All right. Never ceases to, to um, amaze us with uh, Double Masters giving us double the rares. Back to back with that matter. Etched foil surgical extraction here. Oh, and Crucible of Worlds. I was going to say that better not be a, a borderless foil extraction. I mean, a, a borderless foil surgical extraction. That would have been crazy to have triple. Um, yeah, great card to open. Crucible Worlds is fantastic. I, to be honest with you, I'm not saying this art is bad. It doesn't speak Crucible of Worlds to me. I think the Crucible of Worlds that we have with the, the over, like, the the one that looks like it's in space with the Earth or whatever, or that planet, I think that's the best art, period. I wish Wizards would have just given us that in Borderless Foil. That would have been just absolutely gorgeous to have in a Borderless Foil or a Textured Foil slot. So, um, yeah. So we're here on the last few packs here. Two packs left. And... We will terminate foil borderless here, followed by a Golgari Rot Farm foil and a Rurik Thar the Unbound. It's not really a fun rare to hit, kind of bleh there. Anger of the Gods, first time I've seen this actually show up in the borderless slot. Chaos Warp etched foil, that tr that original Chaos Warp art there for me, for you. And we have a rare Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth, which is a beautiful, beautiful uh, array of blue and yellow colors. It's just, I feel like it shines even more just because of the color palette that they used for this. I think that's absolutely um, amazing, beautiful art for that card. I, I probably one of the my favorites in the set. Not my favorite card, but as far as art is concerned, really, really pretty. Last pack of this second box, or four, fifth box out of the case of eight. Second box of this opening. And uh, what did we open so far? We've got a, not much on the mythics, right? Oh boy, did we even hit a mythic in this box? We did, we hit Crucible. <clears throat> We've hit one mythic. So unless we get two mythics in this box, in this pack, uh, this will be the first pack ever opening where you only hit two mythics, uh, that's assuming we get another mythic, and I hope we do, because if we don't, I'll be real sad panda. Um, Selesnia Sanctuary, Rampant Growth, Rampant Growth, Unearth, Merc Fiend Liege. Oh boy, please wizards, don't hose us with a lack of mythics here. Okay, okay, that's a mythic. That's a mythic, I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, it's a Planeswalker. Oh, it's Liliana. Okay, all right, all right. That's, uh, it's not a bad one. I, I do like the Liliana art there. I'm not sure what it's going for, but it's, it's, you know, it's a Liliana. It's a rare. Mayel's Aria, so not the most exciting etched foil. Can we get, is this going to be a two mythic box? Oh my gosh, please. Can you give us a mythic here in the back? Oh, it is. It's a two mythic box. Thousand Year Storm. Pack foil. I mean, God, I can't even get them straight anymore. Uh, borderless foil rare. Wow, let me recap real quick just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because um, these were from the previous box. So, yeah, you've got just the Liliana. And then the etched foils. Okay, Oh, okay. So you got the Caradar Ghost Chief. So it was a three mythic box. It just wasn't the most exciting of the three mythics. Um, and then what was the other... What was the other one we opened? We got Crucible Worlds. Crucible Worlds. Okay. 
So, all right. Well, that was it for that. Join us next time when we open the... I'll probably do the last video opening the, the remaining three of the case there. So, thanks for joining us again. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Uh, like, subscribe. Comment what your favorite pool was out of this box. I'll be entering everybody into giveaways. I'm going to do a lot more giveaways. Those are coming. And um, I just want to be able to give stuff away. I want to send you guys some really cool stuff. Um, probably some sealed product along with some of the stuff we opened. Anyway, love, peace, and chicken grease. Signing out.